Aida Begic is a Bosnian director who's best known for her films about children who've been victims of war. And her latest movie is no different. It's about Syrian refugees living in the Turkish city of Shanla Orfa. <laughs> Şanlıurfa is perhaps the most historically rich city in southeastern Turkey. According to both the Bible and Quran, it's the birthplace of the prophet Abraham. It's also the home of the pool of sacred fish. Legend has it that King Nimrod had Abraham hurled by catapult from the city citadel into a bonfire. But God intervened and turned the fire into water and the burning logs into fish. Abraham was saved. It's a story of triumph, even when all hope is gone. A similar narrative is unfolding in the same place with Syrian refugee children. But this time, there's a camera team to record it all for a film called Orphan. Directed by Bosnian Ida Begic, it follows the life of a boy named Isa, who loses his mother during the Syrian war, but finds a new home in Shanlurfa. So this film is basically about friendship, about hope, about love uh, and beauty. I mean, even though it's talking about um, Syrian orphans, orphans of war, living as refugees, I think this is mainly a movie about uh, hope and beauty. Begic doesn't believe news coverage on refugee children has been enough to tell their stories. She promises to take viewers on a more personal journey. These kids are so beautiful that when you come, for example, to the camp, they don't ask anything from you. They offer you something. You know, these kind of very intimate, very, uh, how to say, like details about uh, their everyday life, in the best sense of that word, I think that uh, art can give. Because we talk about uh, particular destinies. We don't talk about general truths as artists. News and journalists should talk about some general things. As artists, we are trying to talk about and share intimate stories, the truth about very specific people. Although the story is fiction, it reflects the children's lives. The main reason is because most of the cast is Syrian refugees. None of them had ever acted before, but for Begic, that was a plus. Uh, I really like to work with kids and I have a lot of experience. Uh, I always uh, work long before we start shooting the movie, so I know that they are good actors. I know we know each other, you know. I had one scene with the 70 uh, kids that I worked with before and this scene really went fluently because those are my kids, you know, my, my actors and they are really great. So kids when they are talented and when they are motivated to act in the movie, they are the best collaborators you can have. For Isa Delahi, playing the lead character is a dream come true, but he also wants more from the film. So many times people have watched the news, then turned off the TV, snuggled up with their pillow and went to sleep. They don't empathize with the Syrian people. They see on TV how Syrian people are dying Yet they say, let's go to bed. But with God's grace, I'm really hopeful that this film will change that, especially because it's the work of director Aida. Begic grew up during the Bosnian War. She was the same age then as most of these children are now. By making this film, she's telling their story while also telling hers.